Hello, Assalamualaikum guys. Welcome back. I'm going to show you how to make chapatis today. So the first we're going to do is make the dough, and it's really easy and simple. I've got about four cups of atta, uh, roti flour in here, and just normal tap water, lukewarm. Uh, just going to quickly make the dough. I'm using gloves because in some winter I'm, I just get a bit of eczema on my hands. You don't need to put gloves on. Totally up to you. So I'm just gonna pour a bit of water in there. You just put water a bit at a time. You don't want to put too much in because it can get really soft. So you put the water in and with your hands just pull the door together. And I'm gonna it depends on the flour how much water you will need so just you have to eyeball this so we're trying to get a nice smooth dough that's not too hard and not too soft just in a medium range try to get all the dry flour into this bowl of flour so just knead this as you go along. Just going to add a tiny more water in this. Just get the dry flour together. Just with one hand, or you could use both of your hands, just knead the dough. So make sure that the chapati flour is not lumpy, otherwise your chapatis won't come out nice. So just keep on kneading it. I'm just going to wet my hands and just put some more water on top of the flour and keep on kneading this. I'm going to knead this for about 5-6 to six minutes and then I'll show you how it looks. It's been five minutes that I've been kneading the flour. Look at this now, it's beautifully con consistency of it. Now that's done. So I'm just gonna bring all the flour together in the dough. Make a nice round ball. I'm gonna take that, and so I'm gonna empty the water for that and put it in the bowl. Just with my hand, I'm just gonna wet my hands and then just put it on top of the dough. I'm gonna leave the dough to rest for about half an hour, then we're gonna make the chapati. So you can see, guys, I've let the flour rest for about half an hour. I made some dough balls. I'll show you how to make another one. So you could just get, oops. There goes the flour. You just get a good amount of dough. I like to make big chapatis, so I'm taking quite a good amount of dough. So you just bring it all together with your hands and your fingers, and then you turn it upside down and just turn it around and around. This is just some plain flour I got in the pan. So I'm just going to plain flour on both sides and I'm just going to, with my hands and my fingers, just turn this round and round. There you go. It's like a nice disc and I've got a rolling pin. So I'm just going to roll it round and round. I also got a pan on, call it a tawa, on the heat. Heat. Make sure it's nice and warm, otherwise the chapatis won't turn out right. So just got that on the gas now to warm up. And then I'm going to turn the chapati over. And then just with a light hand, you don't need to press it too hard. And then just turn around itself. Make sure you get all the edges because you don't want it to be too thick on the edges. 
go. Here for the ranch pie. That's right now. I'm just just lift the chapati up and then with your hands. Just need to get it a bit bigger. There you go. And now onto the pan. Be careful, the pan's quite hot. As you can see, nice and round chapati. We're gonna cook it on one side and then turn it on the other. You'll see when it's cooked at the bottom and it'll just change a different color. It's changing. It roughly takes about two minutes. And when the pan is really hot, the chapati is turned out really nice. So make sure you get your pan nice and hot. There you go. I'm going to just turn this over now. See? Started cooking nicely. Good. Just with your hands, just turn it. Or you can keep, keep a pair of tongs. I'm used to making it, so for me, it's not very hot. See, the bubbles are coming up now because it's cooking from the other side as well. There you go. Look, beautiful colors on it. I'm going to use this for the roti or the chapati. I don't know what it's called in English, but I think you would understand. So I'll just slowly keep on turning the chapati on top of the flames. Make sure you don't leave it in one place or otherwise it'll burn. Look at that now, it's getting nice and fluffy. And the color is getting really nice. Make sure you get all the edges so it's nicely cooked evenly. There you go, beautiful chapati done. That's easy and simple to make. There you go, guys. A, not, a very simple recipe how to make chapati. And I hope you like this video and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and share my channel to every, all your family and friends. Thank you very much. Bye.